Hello, and welcome to No Content. In this video on KDP, or Kindle Direct Publishing. KDP is Amazon's platform for self-publishing ebooks and paperbacks, and it's a great way for independent authors to get their work out into the world. In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into KDP and showing you everything you need to know to get started. Part 1, Getting Started with KDP. Let's dive a bit deeper into getting started with KDP. As I mentioned earlier, the first step to using KDP is to create an account on the KDP website. This is a straightforward process that involves providing some basic information about yourself and your publishing goals. Once you've created your account, you'll be taken to the KDP dashboard. From here, you can start creating your book by clicking the Create a New Title button. This will take you to the first step of the publishing process, which is to provide some basic information about your book. You'll need to enter the title, subtitle, if applicable, author name, and any other relevant information about your book. You'll also be asked to select a category for your book, which will help it show up in the right place on Amazon's website. The next step is to upload your manuscript. KDP accepts a range of file formats for ebooks, including Microsoft Word, HTML, and PDF. They also offer a Kindle Create tool that you can use to format your manuscript if you don't have experience with ebook formatting. For paperbacks, you'll need to upload a print-ready PDF file that meets KDP's guidelines for printing and binding. KDP offers a paperback cover creator tool that you can use to design your cover, or you can upload your own cover design. Once you've uploaded your manuscript and cover, you'll need to set your price and royalty options. KDP offers a range of royalty options for ebooks, depending on the price and where it's sold. You can choose between 35% and 70% royalties for ebooks, depending on your book's price and other factors. Finally, you'll need to review and publish your book. KDP will provide a preview of your book that you can review before it goes live on Amazon's website. Once you're satisfied with everything, you can click the Publish button and your book will be live on Amazon's website within a few hours. That's a quick overview of the process of getting started with KDP. Of course, there are many details to consider along the way, but KDP offers a wealth of resources and tools to help you navigate the publishing process. In the next section, we'll dive deeper into some of the formatting and design considerations you'll need to keep in mind when preparing your manuscript for publication on KDP. Part 2, Uploading Your Book to KDP Let's take a closer look at uploading your book to KDP. Once you've created an account on KDP and provided basic information about your book, the next step is to upload your manuscript. For ebooks, KDP accepts several file formats including Microsoft Word, HTML, and PDF. It's important to note that KDP has specific formatting requirements for ebooks that you should follow in order to ensure that your book displays properly on different devices. KDP offers a variety of resources to help you format your ebook, including a step by step guide and templates. One important formatting consideration is the use of styles, which are formatting presets that can help ensure consistency throughout your book. KDP recommends using styles to format headings, body text, and other elements of your book. Another formatting consideration is the use of images. KDP accepts JPEG, PNG, and GIF files for images in your ebook, but it's important to keep in mind that these images should be optimized for viewing on different devices. You should also make sure that you have the necessary rights to use any images in your book. Once you've formatted your ebook according to KDP's guidelines, you can upload it to the platform. KDP will automatically convert your file into a Kindle-compatible format and provide a preview that you can review before publishing. For paperbacks, you'll need to upload a print-ready PDF file that meets KDP's guidelines for printing and binding. KDP provides a paperback cover creator tool that you can use to design your cover, or you can upload your own cover design. It's important to keep in mind that your cover should be eye-catching and professional, as it's often the first thing that readers will see when browsing Amazon's website. Once you've uploaded your manuscript and cover, you'll need to set your price and royalty options. KDP offers a range of royalty options for ebooks, depending on the price and where it's sold. You can choose between 35% and 70% royalties for ebooks, depending on your book's price and other factors. Finally, you'll need to review and publish your book. 
KDP will provide a preview of your book that you can review before it goes live on Amazon's website. Once you're satisfied with everything, you can click the Publish button and your book will be live on Amazon's website within a few hours. That's a quick overview of the process of uploading your book to KDP. It's important to keep in mind that KDP is a self-publishing platform, which means that you're responsible for all aspects of the publishing process, including editing, formatting, and cover design. However, KDP offers plenty of resources and tools to help you along the way. In the next section, we'll talk about how to market your book on KDP and get it in front of readers. Part 3. Marketing your book on KDP. Let's take a closer look at how to market your book on KDP. Once your book is published on Amazon's website, it's important to focus on marketing efforts in order to get it in front of potential readers. One of the most effective ways to market your book on KDP is to focus on optimizing your book's metadata, which is the information that appears on Amazon's website about your book. This includes your book's title, subtitle, author name, book description, and keywords. It's important to choose keywords that accurately describe your book and are likely to be used by potential readers when searching for books on Amazon. You should also make sure that your book's description is clear, concise, and compelling, as this is often the first thing that readers will see when considering your book. Another effective marketing strategy is to offer promotions or discounts on your book. KDP offers several promotional tools that you can use to offer your book for free or at a discount for a limited time. This can help generate buzz and encourage readers to give your book a try. Social media can also be an effective marketing tool for promoting your book on KDP. You can use social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to share information about your book and engage with potential readers. It's important to focus on building a strong author brand and establishing yourself as an authority in your genre or subject area. Reviews are another important aspect of marketing your book on KDP. Positive reviews can help boost your book's visibility on Amazon's website and encourage more readers to give it a try. You can encourage readers to leave reviews by including a call to action at the end of your book, or by reaching out to reviewers or book bloggers in your genre. Finally, it's important to stay engaged with your readers and respond to any feedback or questions they may have. This can help build a loyal fan base and encourage readers to recommend your book to others. That's a quick overview of some effective marketing strategies for promoting your book on KDP. It's important to keep in mind that marketing is an ongoing process, and it may take time and effort to build a strong following for your book. However, with dedication and perseverance, you can build a successful author career on KDP. Part 4. Managing your KDP account. Let's take a closer look at managing your KDP account. Once your book is published on Amazon's website, it's important to monitor your sales and royalties, as well as manage any updates or changes to your book. One of the key features of KDP is its dashboard, which provides a detailed overview of your sales, royalties, and other important metrics. You can use this dashboard to track your sales and revenue, as well as monitor customer reviews and ratings. Another important aspect of managing your KDP account is updating or making changes to your book. KDP allows you to make updates to your book's metadata, such as your book description and keywords, as well as upload revised manuscript files or cover designs. It's important to keep your book up to date and respond to any feedback or criticisms that you may receive. KDP also offers several tools and resources to help you promote your book and increase your sales. This includes advertising programs, such as Amazon Advertising and Kindle Direct Publishing Select, as well as promotional tools like Kindle Countdown Deals and free book promotions. In addition, KDP offers a variety of support resources to help you with any issues or questions that you may have. This includes a detailed help center, as well as the ability to contact KDP support directly through the platform. It's important to keep in mind that managing your KDP account is an ongoing process, and it requires regular attention and effort in order to build a successful author career. However, with dedication and perseverance, you can use KDP to reach a wide audience and build a loyal fan base for your books. That's a quick overview of how to manage your KDP account. Whether you're just starting out as an author or you're a seasoned pro, KDP offers a variety of tools and resources to help you succeed in the self-publishing world.